Thanks for tuning in. I'm Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, living with a kidney transplant 19 years, and it functions all right. That's why I do everything I can to help improve my health and improve your kidney health. So check out our other videos. This is an interesting study, just kind of about the evolution of nutrition and kidney disease. So it comes from the Journal of Renal Nutrition, November 2023, and it's called Nutrition and Metabolism for Kidney Health and Disease Management. 45 years of development and future directions under the International Society of Renal Nutrition and Metabolism. And so they go over the history, but there's a cool little chart here that I'm gonna go over that just talks about the history. So renal nutrition evolution, 1800 to 1948, dietary modifications used to manage kidney disease by reducing protein and sodium. So those were some of the first treatments to try to work with kidney issues. 1945, hemodialysis, first hemodialysis treatment conducted by a Dr. William Kolf. I might have said that by correctly, repeated treatments commenced in 1960. So it took a little time to figure out dialysis exactly how to get it work better and unfortunately before this if you had kidney disease and your kidneys failed you just you just didn't live long next we have 1954 first kidney transplant performed in boston usa now this is an interesting one from 1978 to 1989 they came out with the keto analogs of essential amino acids and epo we've talked about keto analogs a lot of videos here so if you haven't, make sure to check it out. EPO is erythropoietin, a medication to boost red blood cells, help your anemia. Now these keto analogs have been out since 1978 and just now people are learning about them in America. It's just sad that these been out for so long and nobody knew about it or not even know, it just wasn't promoted, it wasn't marketed, it wasn't put out there. You gotta wonder why. Okay, number five, 2000, the Kidoki Clinical Practice Guideline for Nutrition. Uh, that's the first kind of set of nutrition guidelines. And they go to 2018 to present, where we know more than ever. Evidence, okay, we have more evidence than ever about dietary patterns and kidney health emerges. Diets rich in fruit, vegetable, legumes, legumes nuts, and grains, beneficial. Guidance recommends consideration of bioavailability of potassium, sodium, and reducing ultra-processed foods, potassium and phosphorus, excuse me. So that's where we're at. Cool little article, cool little chart here, and it brings us from 2018 to present to where we are. So thanks for watching, everybody.